The Wrath of Nature Few natural disasters inspire the same mix of awe and dread as tornadoes. These swirling columns of wind can rip entire towns from the ground, turning homes into debris fields within seconds. While many tornadoes are brief and cause minimal damage, history has shown us that some grow into monsters capable of leveling cities, killing thousands, and changing communities forever. In this episode, we will journey through the history of the most destructive and unforgettable tornadoes ever recorded. From the deadliest in the United States to the strongest winds ever measured, and from century-old tragedies to modern-day storms captured on video, these are the tornadoes that have left scars on history and shaped the way we understand weather. The Tri-State Tornado of 1925 on March 18, 1925, the United States experienced what remains the deadliest tornado in its history. Known as the Tri-State Tornado, it cut a path through Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana, leaving devastation across three states. Unlike most tornadoes, which last minutes, this one stayed on the ground for more than three hours, traveling a staggering 219 miles. Entire towns were erased. In Murfreesboro, Illinois, 234 people died as homes, businesses, and schools were reduced to rubble. By the time the storm finally dissipated, nearly 700 lives had been lost, and thousands were injured. The Tri-State Tornado remains a grim benchmark, not just for its death toll, but for its sheer endurance. Even today, meteorologists debate exactly how such a long-lived tornado could occur, given what we now know about storm structures. The Tri-State Tornado also happened decades before modern radar or warning systems. Residents had no sirens, no television forecasts, and no mobile alerts. People relied on the sight of dark skies or sudden winds as their only warning. The lack of preparedness magnified the death toll, turning the Tri-State Tornado into a national tragedy. The Joplin Tornado of 2011 fast forward nearly a century, and America faced another disaster. On May 22, 2011, the city of Joplin, Missouri, was struck by an EF-5 tornado, one of the strongest categories possible. Unlike the rural tri-state tornado, this one hit a densely populated urban area head-on. The tornado carved through the heart of Joplin with winds exceeding 200 miles per hour. Whole neighborhoods disappeared in minutes. Schools, a hospital, and shopping centers were shredded. In total, 161 people died and over 1,000 were injured, making it the single deadliest tornado in the United States since modern record-keeping began. The Joplin tornado revealed another harsh reality. Even with modern warning systems, sirens, and forecasts, survival often comes down to seconds and to where you happen to be when the storm hits. For many survivors, the event was a test of instinct, courage, and luck. The destruction was so severe that the landscape of Joplin was permanently altered, and the recovery process took years. The Dalatpur Saturia Tornado of 1989 Not all the worst tornadoes happened in the United States. On April 26, 1989, Bangladesh was struck by the deadliest tornado in world history. Known as the Dalatpur Saturia Tornado, it killed an estimated 1,300 people in a single day. The storm tore through villages near Dhaka, leaving tens of thousands homeless. Homes built from tin, bamboo, and wood stood little chance against winds that easily ripped them apart. In the aftermath, entire communities were flattened, trees were stripped bare, and survivors found themselves without food, shelter, or medical aid. This tornado was a brutal reminder that vulnerability to natural disasters depends not only on the strength of the storm, but also on the resilience of infrastructure and the preparedness of society. Bangladesh, with its dense population and fragile housing, was tragically exposed. Even today, the Dalatpur Satoria tornado remains a case study in why disaster planning and early warning systems matter. The More Tornadoes of 1999 and 2013 The city of Moore, Oklahoma, has a tragic history of being hit by devastating tornadoes. On May 3, 1999, Moore was struck by a massive tornado that produced wind speeds of 302 miles per hour, the highest winds ever reliably measured on Earth. The tornado carved a wide path of destruction, killing 36 people and injuring nearly 600. Scientists used mobile Doppler radar to capture these extreme wind speeds, giving the world a chilling benchmark for just how violent tornadoes can be. Then, in 2013, Moore was struck again by another EF-5 tornado. 
This one killed 24 people, including children at an elementary school. The images of flattened homes and survivors digging through debris once again put more in the headlines. For many residents, living in Tornado Alley means living with the knowledge that their town has been tested by nature more than once, and it may happen again. The El Reno Tornado of 2013 While more suffered tragedy, another nearby Oklahoma town witnessed a different kind of record breaker. On May 31, 2013, just days after the Moore disaster, the El Reno Tornado formed. Unlike most tornadoes, which are a few hundred yards wide, this one grew to a staggering 2.6 miles in diameter, making it the largest tornado ever recorded. Although it officially rated only an EF-3, its sheer size and erratic movements made it more dangerous than many EF-5s. Mobile radar recorded winds up to 302 miles per hour, and storm chasers were caught off guard by its sudden shifts. Tragically, renowned tornado researcher Tim Samaras, his son Paul, and their colleague Carl Young were killed while documenting the storm. The El Reno tornado reminded the world that science and experience are no guarantees of safety. It also provided valuable data, helping meteorologists better understand the chaotic nature of massive tornadoes. The 2011 Super Outbreak Sometimes it isn't just one tornado, but many. In April 2011, the United States witnessed the largest tornado outbreak ever recorded. Over four days, more than 360 tornadoes touched down across 21 states. The outbreak killed more than 320 people and left billions in damage. The most destructive day was April 27th, when Alabama and Mississippi saw multiple EF-4 and EF-5 tornadoes strike towns within hours of each other. Tuscaloosa, Alabama was devastated, with entire neighborhoods wiped out and more than 60 lives lost in that city alone. Huntsville, Birmingham, and smaller towns across the region were also scarred. Meteorologists had warned of the outbreak days in advance, but the sheer number of storms overwhelmed emergency services. The 2011 super outbreak remains a chilling example of what happens when the perfect atmospheric conditions align across a vast region producing dozens of deadly tornadoes at once. Other Historic Tornadoes Several other tornadoes deserve mention in any account of the worst in history. The 1974 super outbreak, before 2011, was considered the largest, with 148 tornadoes in 13 states in just 24 hours. The Gainesville tornado of 1936 in Georgia killed more than 200 people, one of the deadliest in the southeast. In 1997, a tornado in Jarrell, Texas, destroyed entire neighborhoods so thoroughly that debris fields were almost unrecognizable. Each of these tornadoes has a place in the history of weather disasters, each one leaving lessons behind for both scientists and communities. Lessons from the baddest tornadoes Looking across these storms, certain lessons stand out. Tornadoes are not limited to one region or one type of community. They strike rural villages in Bangladesh, urban neighborhoods in Missouri, and small towns in Alabama alike. Technology helps, but it cannot eliminate risk. Even in modern times, with radar, satellites, and mobile alerts, the Joplin and El Reno tornadoes prove that unpredictability is part of nature's design. Preparedness is key. Communities that invest in storm shelters, robust warning systems, and public awareness campaigns have a better chance of survival. The tragedies of the past push us to innovate, whether through stronger building codes or advanced radar technology.